Minona is a pastry chef who was just awarded a contract by a non-governmental organization in Zimbabwe, but she needed some money to deliver the items ordered for. She went to meet her friend, Rufaro, to borrow her some money. Whereas, Rufaro, who is an astute businesswoman, needed to invest the money, but she chose to lend Minona with an interest. Now, let's see what an interest is. Imagine Rufaro hadn't lent Minona the money. Would she have made profit from her investment? To avoid running at a loss by borrowing Minona that sum of money, she told her to pay a percentage of the money she borrowed over a given period of time. Hence, the money paid for borrowing is called interest, while the sum of money initially borrowed is the principal. The percentage of the principal to be paid as interest is the rate, while the given period between borrowing and refund is the time. There are two types of interest, which are the simple and compound interest. The simple interest is the interest paid on the principal by the end of the given period. The simple interest I is given by principal P times rate R times time T, all divided by 100. While the compound interest is the interest added to the principal at specified intervals within the given period. When compound interest is paid over a principal P and at given intervals X, we calculate the interest after X interval and then add the interest to the principal to get the new principal which is used to calculate the interest for the next interval. This process is repeated until the given period or time elapses. The concept of compound interest is used in depreciation which is a gradual reduction in the value of a commodity. It is also used in inflation which is a gradual increase in the price of commodities or population growth. Finally, the amount is the sum of the principal and the interest. In this lesson, we have learned about simple interest and its formula, compound interest and how it relates to depreciation and inflation. We also learned about the formula for calculating the amount. Join me in subsequent lessons as we take practical examples. See you there.